All righty, Brent Randolph here for another episode of the Prep Cast, and I'm joined by Wise bas basketball coach Rob Garner. So, first off, coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's a, it's a good day to be a Puma, Brent. Absolutely, you guys are undefeated so far in this season, 13 and 0. And if I'm right about it, you guys have only had one game that was within single digits. Every other game you've won by double digits. So just the first question, how have you guys been able to stay undefeated up to this point? Well, you know, Britton, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of hard work, determination, and, and focus. And, uh, you know, I take my hat off to my coaching staff. I, I really believe that I have one of the best coaching staff and if, 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 if not in the DMV, in the country. And, and those guys uh, collectively, you know, we do a great job, you know, just trying to keep the kids focused. And that's another task and job in itself. But, you know, I, I think one thing that has really helped us this year has been the strong leadership of our seniors. You know, a majority of those kids, my, my four seniors that starting this year, um, have been on varsity since 10th grade. They've been starting since 10th grade. Um, you know, our, our two uh, leading scorers for the since 10th grade have been Michael Spade and Deron Barnes. And, you know, Ben Pregum's having such a great year. And, and with the transfer of, of Brandon Powell, you know, we just had very high-level leadership. And so because of that, it just has eliminated you know, some distractions, and we've been able to just concentrate one practice and one game at a time, just working on trying to get better. Right. You mentioned um, Michael Spate and Brandon Howell. You guys are being led by some of the best guards in the DMV area. Those two combined are uh, averaging around 32, 33 points a game. So just how have the guards been able to uh, take control of the games this season and uh, make sure that Wise is uh, in control and able to win? Well, I, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm just a firm believer that, you know, in order for you to be able to be successful in the DMV and especially in the in the 4A and the conference and PG County basketball that we play in, um, you can go very far if you have great guard play. And so, you know, we've been very fortunate. You know, to have Brandon Howe come in and, and just magnify our entire program with his existence. And so, you know, it really took a lot of pressure off my face. I mean, you know, he was the, the one kid that we had in a program that could really shoot and stroke the basketball, and, and yet he had to take on so many, I don't want to say pressures, but just so many responsibilities, you know, uh, of being that guard and being the focal point of everything that we did. And so now with Brandon Howe, um, it just took a, a, a weight off of his shoulders because now we have another kid who can really stroke and shoot the basketball and kind of just really open up some things in terms of our team. And with my point guard, Brent Pegum, playing the way he's been playing all, se uh, all season, you know, close to averaging a double-double in points and assists, you know, I think it starts right there. And, and so, you know, the balance of our entire team has been, you know, what we've been blessed with this year. Right, Coach. You guys definitely have one of the most complete teams in the DMV. But you guys have some a couple of tough, tough tests coming up against both Rock Creek Christian and Bladensburg here to close out the season. So what are some things that uh, Wise will have to do to make sure you guys stay undefeated and beat those tough opponents? Well, I, you know, I don't want to sound really cliche it's about what I'm about to say right now, you know, and, you know, as a coach, I, I try to, you know, keep our kids humble, uh, keep them in the moment. Um, and so because of that, you know, to be honest with you, the only thing that we've been really thinking about right now, even though it's been hard, uh, because we know that we have some games down the line that we're going to have to face, but hey, man, the, the most important game we have is tomorrow versus Top Point. And so, you know, for, for us, you know, to be able to play well tomorrow, that's, that's the most important thing. You know, how 
we're going to practice today will lead to how we're going to play tomorrow, and how we play tomorrow will lead us to the next big game that we have on Saturday. And so just trying to chop up our season in that manner and stay consistent with what the message has been, which is, you know, we're trying to win every practice and we're trying to win every game. And so we do have some big ones coming up. We know that Rock Creek is, is coming. We know Bladingford is coming. And we know that Northwestern to end the regular season is coming. And so, uh, but before we can even start to really prepare for that, we've just really been focused on these last couple practices that we've had trying to get that on the defensive side of the basketball and getting us ready to play a really good game versus high point tomorrow. Well, Coach, um, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, that's all the time we have. So I uh, really appreciate you um, taking the time to uh, stop by and join us today. And best of luck to you guys on the rest of your season. No, thank you. It's been an honor. And we're very grateful for having the opportunity to speak with you guys. Thank you so much. Awesome, Coach. Thanks a lot. Take care.